In our discussion on electromagnetic radiation, we said that light is one form of electromagnetic radiation. Now we were also able to derive the speed of light inside a vacuum. So we said that the speed of light inside a vacuum given by lowercase c is equal to 299,792,458 meters per second and this is approximately equal to 3.00 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. Now because light is electromagnetic radiation that basically means that light consists of oscillating electric fields shown in green and oscillating magnetic fields shown in blue. So light consists of regions of oscillating electric fields and oscillating magnetic fields. So this is an example of a single wave of light that is propagating in the positive direction along the x-axis our electric field is oscillating along the y-axis and our magnetic field is oscillating along the z-axis. So once again, the speed of light inside a vacuum is given by the following quantity. However, when light travels through a medium, for example, air, water, or glass, the speed of light decreases and is less than C, is less than the speed of light inside a vacuum. Now we define something known as the index of refraction. The index of refraction essentially allows us to compare the speed of light inside a vacuum to the speed of light inside a medium. So, the ratio of the speed of light inside a vacuum given by C to the speed of light inside a particular medium given by V is known as the index of refraction and it's given by lowercase n. So the equation for the index of refraction is given by the following formula. The index of refraction n is equal to c, the speed of light inside a vacuum, divided by v, the speed of light inside a particular medium. And notice, because we're dividing velocity by velocity, our units of index of refraction are none, so we have no units. Index of refraction is unitless. Now, because the highest possible value for the speed of light is given by this quantity, is given by C, and because C appears on the top of this ratio, that means this ratio can never be less than 1. So the index of refraction of any material of any medium is always greater than our value of 1. Now, why exactly does light slow down inside a medium? So what causes our light to slow down? So let's suppose we have the following vacuum and inside the vacuum we have a propagating light wave. So we have the light wave is traveling in the following general direction, in the positive direction along the x-axis and eventually it enters a region that consists of molecules and atoms. So this is our medium. Remember, a vacuum is essentially a region of space in which there is an absence of atoms and molecules. So as light travels inside a medium, it is absorbed and re-emitted by the atoms and molecules inside that medium. And because this absorption and re-emittance will take time, that basically means that the velocity or the speed of light will decrease, our light will slow down. So, let's look at the following example that will utilize the following equation. So, example A. The speed of light in ice is equal to 2.29 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. We want to find what the index of refraction is and of ice. So, we want to apply the following equation. 
the index of refraction of ice is equal to c the speed of light inside our vacuum divided by v ice the speed of light inside ice so this is equal to 3.00 times 10 to the 8 meters per second divided by 2.29 times 10 to the 8 meters per second and that gives us about 1.31 now let's move on to part B. Now we are given that the index of refraction of light in diamonds is 2.42. Now we want to find what the speed of light is V inside our diamond. So once again we apply this equation N is equal to C divided by V. But now we are looking for V instead of N. So, let's rearrange our equation and solve for V. V is equal to C divided by N, which is equal to the speed of light inside a vacuum divided by the index of refraction of a diamond, 2.42, and that gives us about 1.24 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. So once again, what exactly is the index of refraction? The index of refraction is essentially something that tells us it allows us to relate the speed of light inside a vacuum to the speed of light inside a medium. That is, the speed of light inside a medium is always slower than the speed of light inside a vacuum because of the presence of molecules and atoms which essentially absorb and re-emit that light.